um this whole pandemic shit. Did you see that um this charity rejected two hundred thousand dollars from Takashi Six Nine or Takashi Snitch Nine oh, yeah. as I branded him? Yeah, and this other uh, organization in LA uh, took his tax write off or whatever. His, oh, his so a company did take it. Yeah, another company in LA took it. Like wow. A week. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, because. Because, well, apparently when I thought it was funny because I was like, damn, the fact that, you know, companies aren't willing to do business with him says a lot. But then when I dug into it, it's called uh, No Kid Hungry Campaign. Right. And um, the, the, the name of the nonprofit is Share Our Strength um, and they run a campaign. And apparently that um, 2015 uh, incident involving the sexual performance with a minor, Takashi pled guilty to that. And so that goes against their um, conduct. So like, they don't, they don't like to get involved with messy situations like that. And instead of Takashi, you know, taking it on the chin, he, he made a comment basically saying he never seen something so cruel. An end quote. <laughs> and dude's a clown, man. There's a video, it's a picture of him eating eating his foot or some shit like that. Like he's I I don't know. <clears throat> there's there's a, a there's some kind of agenda that they pushing with this this dude. You know, this is somebody I want y'all kids to look at. I just don't think it's a good example, you know, that these kids are looking at this guy he joined a criminal organization and did something that is very dangerous and you're rewarding that, that kind of behavior and promoting it to a younger generation that because those the kids are the one who likes them they're the ones who listen to him right i just think some of it is not I, I don't think he's an organic superstar like he's got the highest watched youtube video have you heard the song hell no Exactly. I was gonna say it doesn't make it doesn't add up to me. Like some of these numbers are skewed and stuff. The video has like two hundred million views in two weeks. I've I've only heard the song the one time I watched the video. I, I don't hear it in, in the streets. I don't hear it in people's cars. I don't see people talk about it because nobody's outside. You can't be in the streets. <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying. You know, people really out here. Like we say, some people bugging, but I just don't hear the buzz. I don't. I don't even. Yeah, when not it like came it, out the first time. Yeah, it was different. The, it was different. Yeah, but it was the little kids anyway. But I'm like, they, they, I don't know, they force certain people into stardom that's really not organically stars. I felt the same way with the little Nas X nigga. Like, that's all forced. He's yeah. a one hit. Well, Nas went, X said he want to get some pussy now. Oh, God, see, that'll go viral. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he does his viral. I'm like, they, they made up these niggas as stars. Like, 6 9 went and got the biggest billboard in New York. He's, <laughs> niggas used to laugh at you if you bought your own. Uh, rented your own billboard back in the days. Yeah. Your label did that. Yeah. But he, um, Takashi, I said this before too. Uh, I think he was an industry plan. I think he still is. Because if you oh, look at, if you look at what happened, right? He basically joined a street gang and then dismantled the street gang, or at least that small set within that street gang. So sure. and they tried to take down Jim Jones and Cardi B and Right. He tried to and it was just like, wow. You know Brown shit. Everybody's gotta go. You know what I mean? It yeah. was like oh and then he tried and so to justify. Then you bring you bring the Snoop factor in it with Meek Mill and I'm like, okay, yeah. it's obvious. It's like, come on, Meek Mill it constantly keeps going at him. The game yeah. that came back on him and tried to sit him down too, but and then Snoop, why is Snoop with this big following on Snoop got like fifty million followers? Why has he given this kid so much attention? Yeah. Uh, this is coming off the castration tour Snoop was on for the last couple months after he got in trouble for his uh his comments about um Gail King. Yeah. <laughs> put Snoop on yeah. The uh, Snoop back for himself. So now you got Snoop giving this this boy attention. I'm like, this is some industry plan shit. Right. Snoop, you know, come on, dog. Yeah, but, you know, it's because, I guess, the whole, oh, so, like, because if somebody call you a snitch, like, that's, that's a, a stamp you don't want. Yeah, that's the one I do, yeah. 
But my whole thing, why, like, why are these, you know what I'm saying? Why, these aren't the, any old regular, these are mainstream, big following type of rappers. Yeah. It just seems, or it just seems orchestrated to me. It does. It doesn't we, seem we like break it down like that. It does seem orchestrated. I can see that. But I told everybody from Jump when uh, they said that he was snitching, I was like, his fan base ain't going to care. Like, the people that we we know as, like, real niggas, quote, unquote, real niggas, like, yeah, that, that whole street code, that means something to them. His fan base, that shit don't mean nothing to them. Like, they like, whatever, man. Like, I don't care about that shit. Yeah. They all a bunch of little... <laughs> and they're little like, white boys. And- yeah. They they tell on everybody anyway. Fucking, they don't care. They like, look, I just told on my fucking little brother yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Tell on them tomorrow. But yeah, I don't. I mean, I didn't want to um, talk about the kid anyway. But there were some things I needed to point out because um, the fact that a, a, a charity said that we don't want your money is that's that's big because. The point of a charity is to get as much money as they can. If yeah. they don't want your money, that says a lot about you. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. And it also says a lot about why, why y'all turning money down at the same time. You yeah. know what I mean? Y'all kind of going against y'all objective. Yeah. So it's like it's kind of like a crossfire. And then what about the the statement when he like quote unquote apologized for locking niggas up? Where he said, "What if uh, motherfuckers was trying to kidnap your moms? They was fucking your baby moms. They was robbing you. Yada yada yada. You was snitched too." And everybody was like, they kind of sat back and thought about it. Like, well, hold up, would I? It's like, no, like you wouldn't. Like a lot of these kids, they don't know what it's like to be on that side of the wall anyway. So people can sit here and talk all day long. Oh, they snitch this, snitch that. All right, wait till you sitting in that cold ass room with no fucking blanket and nothing to eat. You gonna be trying to get out that motherfucker quick. Like, Yo, I'll tell you anything. It don't matter what they doing. I don't care if somebody trying to rob you or like when you when you cross a certain line, like there's no turning back. I don't care. Like, there's no turn. Like, nah. you made that decision the moment that you decided to step out into the street. So you got to deal with exactly. it. But they, also, it's just it's two ways to that. It's just the civilian thing to do is yeah, cooperate. Whatever you want to do, it's a civilian. But once you take that oath to be a part of a crime organization, yeah, you got to go with it. And I I can't believe that um, anybody. I don't know how anybody didn't think that he was going to snitch. And the guys that he snitched on, this is going to sound crazy, but they got what they deserve. Like, why would you even allow somebody of that caliber to be around y'all doing dirt? Y'all should have let him freaking get himself caught up with, like, trying to put hits on people. Like, what? I don't know, man. (laughs) These niggas. It be in the moment. It just be in the moment, man. Yeah. Well, speaking of motherfuckers having a moment.